What's up, YouTube Nation? It's Matt, Three Pound Fishing. We're back on our home water, and I'm excited. I'll tell you what, we got a fish fry coming up this week, and my wife has said, get me some fish. So that's what we're gonna go out today. We're actually gonna catch a few, then we're gonna bring them to the table, and I'm gonna show you exactly the kind of fish I'm looking for for a fish fry, the size of fish I'm looking for for a fish fry, and then we're gonna actually clean them. But before we do, we've had a cold snap. We went through some warm weather, and man, I wish I had that warm weather back. But we've got some cold weather going right now. So we're gonna put the Wind Rider suit on. We also have a chance for rain. I'm putting my Wind Rider suit on, and it protects me from all the elements. That's what I love about it. So let's get her done. So probably the one thing people don't realize, and I have talked about it, that typically, especially through the spring season, I will just wear my Hayward. If it's a chance of rain, I'm wearing my Hayward. I'm not gonna go back and forth between two different suits. I love the idea that you can take the liner out and all that great stuff. But at the end of the day, it's waterproof. So if it rains on me out there and I'm just a little bit warm, which I like being, I'm okay with it. The Hayward is the ticket. So if you were to pick one suit to get, I would say the Hayward, personally. Now don't get me wrong, when it gets up to the 80s, you gotta have a rain suit that's lightweight. But at the same time, you can just take out the liner. But let's go put some fish on the boat. It is cold. I'm tired of it being cold. We had some warm weather a couple days ago and I was like, yeah. But now the cold's back, so for a couple more days. And uh, I don't know, let's put some fish in the boat. All right, so the cool thing, guys, that's coming up is the hammer will be back in stock within a couple weeks. So we are starting the pre-sale of the new inventory that's coming in. So if you wanna go to the website, you guys can check out the hammer and actually place your order so that when they get here, you will be the first ones that will receive it. Hammer sold out very quickly, very excited about that. And we have some incredible rods on the way in addition to restocking the hammer. So excited to share that information with you guys in the coming weeks, maybe sooner. But we're gonna fish right now. There we go. See the guys on the dirt right there? Those are the guys I'm gonna be really targeting, not the ones on the structure, because I found that these guys in the dirt are just a little bit more aggressive. There we go. First fish of the episode and the first one that's gonna go in my fryer. Now guys, what I like in terms of fish that I keep are definitely the 10 and a half, 11s, 11 and a half, 12 is max. So this is a almost an 11 inch fish right here. Beautiful size fish for a fish fry and that's what we're gonna use it for. We're gonna get about a total of eight of them. Now what you like as a uh, angler for uh, fish fries is always personal preference but i think fish that are 12 inches to 10 and a half inches are the perfect size for what i like and i like i try to you know i like the idea that it's just not that thick um, of a fillet so that's what we're going for and again another good drop here you a slow mover but you might hit it There we go. He was a slow mover, but he was coming, baby. All right. A little eater, but we're gonna keep it. Now what I'm fishing with is a hair jig. And you have to be so subtle with it when it's a finicky bite on my home lake. Little bitty thrusts, little bitty moves, not big aggressive moves. Uh, when they're struggling to stay with it, um, small moves are better, just like a small bait. So that's what I'm trying to do. When I'm playing them, it's just very little moves. When I get their attention, it's just little bitty tweaks to the bait. You can learn all this at the guide service, guys. We talk about it extensively during the guide services. 
little bitty moves, guys. Just little bitty moves. The hammer is performing. That's number three. Good size fish. Good fish. All right, guys. It is windy out here, no doubt about it. But let me just go through my setup. I did this on TikTok and it seemed to go over very well. But I'm gonna do it here just so you guys can see it as well. 132nd ounce jig right here. I tie that with a loop knot. I use the Comet braid from Sniping Braid, okay? This is all anchored by a split shot right here, a number seven split shot. And the reason why I put a split shot on for the most part is that it allows me to see two items going horizontally on the screen at the same rate, easy for my eyes to pick up. Now, the downside of using a split shot is that you can pierce your line and it can even pierce braid, especially these micro braids. But I'm all about efficiency. I don't care. I'm all about being able to take it on, pull it, put it back on, take it off, etc. And that makes it happen very quickly with a split shot. So a number seven split shot, in my opinion, is key. It's about 15 to 18 inches from the jig head. If you get it too close, I don't know if it bothers the fish, but it bothers me, so we don't do that. Now, 10 footer. People ask me why. It's the Hammer 10. It's the best 10 footer on the market. They're going to be back in stock. You can order them online right now. You'll be the first ones to get it. Why a 10 footer? Because I can flip far enough away from the trolling motor. I can vertical jig far enough from the trolling motor, but I can also cast with it. I can do everything with it. If you're using an eight footer or anything shorter, it's hard to get away from the trolling motor, but obviously you're gonna excel maybe at casting. But honestly, as far as we cast for crappie, 30, 40 feet, 10 footer is perfect. And this hammer is exceptional. Three pound fishing reel. This is the 200 series. It matches the hammer. It looks beautiful. It performs excellent. Can't recommend it enough. That's my setup. That's my rig. The important thing go home with is the split shot, the jig, 15, 18 inches apart, vertically going through the column, easy to pick up on your live sonar. I get that question a lot during the guide trips. And why can't I see my jig? Well, sometimes it's because you're not using something else to supplement to pick it up quicker with your eye. So that's my setup. It's what I use, it's what I like. I'm sorry. Well, okay, so we're getting eight fish today, right guys? That's the key. Eight fish, that's all I need. I don't get more than I need. When it's just me and my wife gonna have a fish fry, that's 16 fillets. That gives us a little leftover so we can make some crappie sandwiches, leftover crappie sandwiches on the next day. Outside of that, it's the perfect amount for a couple. Oh my gosh, we should have had that one. Crappie taco, crappy taco going in the bucket. We're gonna get one more off this pile and then we're gonna go to another pile. We are prepping kind of for a guide trip also today. We have uh, quite a few guide trips lined up for this spring. And of course we always could use more. So if you're interested, give me a holler, but we do have a guide trip tomorrow and uh, trying to make sure that we're finding the right location. This is a major wind change on my lake. So that could change things up quite a bit. Ooh, better fish here. Yep, good fish. That's a beautiful sight there. Built up on that point. baby built up on that point that wind pushing in here against that point just has brought these fish right along the edge on this incline from this point and they're just sitting there slabs good eating size fish perfect size yep 
Good cast equals good fish, baby. All right, guys, this is what we got. We took a couple extra. Let's see what we got there. Yeah, we took three extras. Perfect size fish to eat. We're gonna flay a couple of these up. Um, looking forward to showing you. All right, guys, I use the Rapala now. Absolutely love it, super quick. Um, it doesn't get any better than that. So we're gonna start off by taking one of these guys right here, right through here, take it through with an angle right behind that fin. And we're gonna follow that spine all the way back, staying as close to the ribs as we possibly can. We're gonna flip, and then we're gonna get as much of that meat off there as we possibly can. And then all I do to cut that rib out, again, these are just perfect size eaters right now. Right there. And guys, that is a solid filet right there for your your significant other we can get now we're gonna get about 20 fillets it'll be just the perfect amount for a dinner plus probably a couple sandwiches the next day for leftovers guys i appreciate you thanks for watching please subscribe to three pound fishing we got a lot of stuff coming and i cannot wait to share it with you uh new rods you name it it's coming we got visors coming we got merch coming we got new reels coming it's gonna be a fun, fun season. Cannot wait for the summer. Book those guide trips, get in the boat, because fish are definitely going in it. Take it easy, guys.